holiday, the problem solvers are sharing their holiday shopping survival guide with you. How to purchase your gifts on your list while still saving money. Oh, who's here? K2 problem solver Shelly Bailey Shaw with a different take on gift cards. Help me survive here, Shelly. All right, so now you know gift cards can be a popular gift, yes, right? Correct. Okay. But what if you could use discounted gift cards to buy the gifts you want to give? There are websites that do just that. Ambria Newton is a stay-at-home mom and deal hunter. I definitely follow a lot of frugal living type sites, um, couponing type sites and that sort of stuff. I'm looking for deals. That's where she discovered PlasticJungle.com and CardCash.com, two websites that sell gift cards other people don't want at a discount. The savings up to 25 percent with most cards in the 8 to 15 percent range. The percentage off changes. Mm. It's not always the same. I think it's determined by maybe how many they have in stock or... Supply and demand. Yeah. There are spots where you can go to see everything they might carry and you can set up alerts if there's a certain thing you're looking for so that maybe they, they'll email you when one comes in stock. On Plastic Jungle, you can even specify the value and percentage off you're looking for. Hot cards include ones from Trader Joe's, American Girl, and Costco. Ambria says you have to jump on those quickly. Within a week, your gift card arrives in the mail. Or if you buy an online card, you can use it right away. How many cards do you think you've purchased in the last year? Um, probably 50. Only twice were the cards no good, but the websites gave Ambria immediate no-hassle refunds. Shopping expert Angela Davis does warn not all discount card sites may be legit. What I just suggest you do is Google the name of the company or the name of the website and add the word scam at the end. Push enter and see what comes up. Ambria will use her discounted gift cards to do the bulk of her holiday shopping. And why not? In just a year, she saved hundreds of dollars. For me, if it's a purchase I know I'm going to be making anyways, why not save a little bit more? Just like with regular gift cards, make sure to read the fine print before buying. Some discounted cards are only for online use, others are for in-store purchases. And you could buy a card to actually give as a gift, but if for some reason it doesn't work out, mm -hmm. it could be a little awkward. What about selling cards? That's right. Now, if Steve gives you a gift card mm -hmm. that you are not mm -hmm. going to use for the holidays, you can absolutely <laughs> sell it on these same sites. You would never do that, would you, Deb? You would never do that either. That's true, probably. <laughs> never give her a gift or what? Never, never happen. <laughs> but thank you for helping us survive. And there's more to come. Our day-long holiday shopping survival guide continues at 6 o'clock tonight. Shelly will be back to prepare us for Black Friday. Then at 11 o'clock, where you can go online to not only save money, but also get money back. I'm sure you might do it. I just don't know where the gift card would be from. It's coming.